Yeah, yeah. we're just trying to test out the audio. Uh, just make sure it's not doing anything bizarre. Can I hear myself speaking? All right, sounds good. Everything sounds good. Sounds good for me as well, because I'm the one on the opposite source. Um, I think you guys will be all on the same source. Yep. Okay. Pick up. That's all we need. Cool. And one second more, we'll, uh, and then you can do like an opening or whatever. Okay. And then I'll be able to chop that down. Mm -hmm. Cut out this beginning part. Did we do a, did you tweet or anything? Uh, I put, I, I tweeted a while ago and then I put something on, did we do uh, a, did we do a, did we do a, just a minute ago. I have more people on uh, Facebook, I, put, I think. I, I tweeted a while ago okay. and then I put something on. Uh, oh, am I did injured from going through that door? Just a minute ago. I don't remember. I no. Uh, Facebook, I put, I okay. I just your pride. <laughs> Non-existent. Got, um, did Mammoth Games Inc. just say Mammoth Games Inc.? Oh yeah. Mammoth Sorry. Games I was, uh... Mammoth Games Inc. chat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I did. Cool. I thought I was on, um, I was having everyone host. Everyone? Yep. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Exit that one. Got to go there. Hmm. And everything looks good, yeah? And yep. yes, cool. Cool. So, uh, go ahead and you can do your opening whenever. <clears throat> Red leather. <laughs> Hello, leather. That's classic. <laughs> um. All right, welcome back to Digital Dungeons. We are on, I guess, officially uh, episode two of the Apocalypse World playthrough. Um, we are in uh, the town of Dust Bowl. Um, last session, we left off. Um, everybody kind of knocked out the old dick guard, Phil, and. Uh, is that right? Yep, that's right. Knocked yeah. out Phil and dragged him into the uh, dragged him into the bar. Um, okay, so Rusty, uh, if I recall, um, you know, Rusty was uh, he was kind of tied up and trapped uh, in the back room that everybody uh, so stealthily broke into by diving at it over and over again. Um, and uh, there was a bunch of um, kind of weird, like probably tainted. Uh, alcohol in these in these new weird bottles um yeah so uh i guess we'll start uh normally when you do a session ender uh that's when you will choose new highlighted stats um that's when you'll uh you know edit your history with other characters and uh dole out any experience points that uh anybody needs so let's go ahead and do that so um Everybody go into your character sheet and remove uh, any highlights that you already have. All right. And then we'll go through and uh, we'll, you know, determine who has the best history score with you and they'll choose a new highlight. And then I'll give you an additional uh, highlight once we're done. So we'll get experience trucking along a little quicker. Um. Okay, let's just do it in the order of the characters appear. So, um, who has the highest, uh, Alvara, of your list, who has the highest history with you? Um, Scab. All right, so okay. Scab, go ahead. Hot. Okay. All right, so go ahead and highlight that. And then, uh, We'll also highlight um, we'll highlight hard as well for you because you were uh, you were the only one that took a hit I think mm -hmm. so far um, yeah I was yeah you're you're standing up for the group so we'll we'll give you that too okay um, all right so uh, Macbeth yes my highest history scores for Scab. yeah I don't know why everyone has the highest yeah. score with me and for everyone else. You're like all in negatives. Yeah, that's why. But, okay, <laughs> that's uh, you're cool. All right. That was my highlight last time. Can I do it again? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And I'll give you sharp as well because uh, you've been the one kind of keeping an eye out and trying to keep everything cool. So um, works for me. Yeah, it'll help you keep aware of what's going on. 
Um, rib bone. Um, I have. Yep, scab. Yep. Macbeth. Oh, shocked. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna go with hard this time. Okay. Okay. That'll do. And I'll give you weird. <laughs> nice. And then uh, scab. Elvara. Hmm. What can I... Oh, okay. Uh, let's go weird. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna give you um, probably fucking cool start. because I, like she was everyone's favorite. That's true. <laughs> that's that's true. I think I'm gonna give you sharp because uh, you're starting to understand how things in the town are going. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Um. All right. And uh, so. Before next meeting, I didn't notice this until now. So uh, on our next session, uh, I'll have everybody go through on history and actually add in those um, those rollable scores so that you don't just have to rely on scrolling through the notes. Um, but you don't have to do that right now. But uh, Wait, yeah, so we're at? going to, um, if you look under your character sheet on uh, the history section, uh, they just added in like, like an add modify. Um, you can put it in oh, and make yeah. it rollable. It's a lot easier to deal with, I think. Okay. And that is new, isn't it? Or did we just not notice it before? I think it is new. Yeah, so that I. feels kind of new. Okay. Um, I mean, I might just, I don't know. It is, yeah, I mean, I mean it, do it you want to put like it in now? I mean, there's only three of them. brain draining or anything to do it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, go ahead. And uh, we're also going to, um, basically, you'll determine, you'll, like, think about, um, I guess, at least what you remember of the last session, and um, if if any characters acted in a way that you expected or that helped you know them better, uh, you can basically just like make a justification for it and you can add a plus one to your history score with them. Okay. Um, if, if anybody did something that really threw you off and you weren't expecting, um, you know, make an argument for that and then make a minus one. Um, so we'll do in reverse order, scab. Oh, um... Macbeth really mm -hmm. looked out for me. I mean, not to eat poison. Murder everybody? So. Yeah. I'm going to add a point. Okay. Make that it a solid zero. <laughs> <laughs> and then also rib bone. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't know, helping me out, encouraging me. Yep. All right, so go ahead and do a plus one for both of those. Yeah, you got it. Um, is that all you got? Yeah. Okay. Rib bone? Um, man, that's rough. I, I, probably uh, scab for trying to dive through a door headfirst with me. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, if you do that, you'll go ahead and wrap back around to a zero, but you'll get an experience point for that. Oh, okay. <clears throat> zero. And... I'm trying to think. Uh... Should you give me one second? I'm gonna just pull up the mm -hmm. pull up my notes really quick. Okay, that's fine. Well, we can uh, we can roll on. Uh, we'll do Macbeth real quick, and then uh, you can jump in when you have some. Okay. Can I do a plus one to Alvara for um, saying like she impressed my character by how she was like mm -hmm. uh, not manipulating people, but like persuading. Yeah. A lot last game? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go um, with a plus one to uh, Alvira as well for mm -hmm. hanging out with me at Stinky Pete's and not being creeped out by him too much. Okay. And on Macbeth too, I think uh, it might be a good, this could be a good opportunity to do a minus one 
to scab because yeah. I, I, you were having to hold scab back a lot. <laughs> I was unpredictable. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that then. Everybody's a solid two for me across the board now. That's funny. Um, okay. And then for um, Alvara. Yeah. Let's be honest. I kind of forget. I need to take better notes. <laughs> It's been yeah. a while. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to think. I, I think like you changed for everybody. It seems like like yeah. you went up for everybody, but I don't think anybody really uh, went out of their way to impress you. You know what I mean? Not that I can remember. No, like um, nothing against y'all, but I kind of held my own. Yeah. Again, maybe a minus one to scab. Um. Yeah, I mean that just drops her to two. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it hasn't been like overnight or anything like you guys just literally grabbed him and yanked him in. So, um, I think this is like, it was a good place to break for like story purposes. You know what I mean? It was a good cliffhanger, but not necessarily a good place for how the game operates. It usually assumes that you're at the end of a day or something. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, normally when you finish a session, you would re-roll highlights and, and, uh, look at your history and see if that's going to change or whatever. Um, so in this case, you know, we're, you guys have had a second to kind of sit around and think about, um, you know, all the events leading up to this, uh, here at the tap house. So, um, I, I, that's my justification for it at least. And also I was just reading the rule book a little more. <laughs> so, um, okay. So we're going to have, uh, you know, we're back, back inside the tap house, the, uh, front doors. Um, a little messed up. Uh, it, it had been um, the back door. You guys completely broke and destroyed. Um, yeah. The front door at this point, like yanking this guy in, and all the the traffic in and out of it. It's it closing, opening, closing, opening, and there's some, you know, uh, what's his name, uh, rattlesnake Rusty that would, went barging <laughs> through it and everything. Like, uh, basically the doors just kind of like busted off of the top hinge. So, um probably would not make a good like place to hold out while the guards are trying to break it down or anything. But um, for now, you guys are relatively inconspicuous. Um, but you're going to have to think on your feet because like I said, this is not a good place to hold up. And uh, I think the last thing you um, the last like effect you had on the town was Rusty like sprinting away after sort of getting arrested and uh, he was yelling. So um you know, there's there's a little bit of people like kind of poking their heads out and looking around. Um, but all in all, um, so we're we've got you uh, up here at the bar. Um, I think where you are specifically is kind of on this back side. Uh, I think the door is probably like right there. Uh, is that click? Is that ping coming through? Yeah. yeah, kind of on this back section here. So it's kind of in the an alleyway a little bit. So you're not super out in the open and crowded or anything. Um, probably uh, that house uh, of the woman who's infected is like this corner down here around there. So, um, you know, this, there's a lot of people over here, but they're not out. They don't necessarily know what's going on. So it's not a problem quite yet. Um, so yeah, you've got a unconscious cop and my favorite a lot kind. Of, oh god a <laughs> lot of uh a lot of tainted beer so what are you guys gonna do um give me one second i'm kind of rereading my notes mm -hmm. so i mean the idea is um and this is just reminding myself <clears throat> that um, Rusty was tied up. Mm -hmm. um, and when he got out, he was immediately um, basically being, he was in the act of being taken in by Phil. Mm -hmm. But 
you know, he, you know, and we were on our way to speak with Chad and we ran into Phil giving Rusty the business. And then was it, so it was kind of like a realization for some of us that Phil and Chad were, could be part of this. Well, um, yeah, you definitely, you definitely think, uh, you have a good idea that Chad's a part of it. Um, just because he's, he's the actual owner of, uh, the tap house bar. He is um, kind of the head. I mean, he's not the sole commander of the police or anything, but he is certainly, um, you know, as part of the town council or whatever, he's he's a big part of kind of what they do. Sure. And, you know, like you said, the the guards are the ones that lock this place up. Um, so, that you know, you would think if you were shutting a bar down and you didn't see the only employee of the bar there as the cops that might raise suspicion and that, you know, as far as, you know, they weren't like, Oh wait, what happened to rusty? You know what I mean? So there's an idea that they could have known, uh, you know, that he was tied up or whatever. So, um, yeah. And yeah, Phil, Phil currently is unconscious. I think Um, he, uh, lost a nut. Yeah. He, Oh yeah, he did. Righty. That was real funny. So that'll put you down for a couple minutes. You know what I mean? I'll, yeah. I'll send you to nap land. <laughs> so, um, like to ask. so like I mean, to ask him. we should probably, I mean, just all of this, you know, like, what are your ideas like together? Like, what should we do from here? Because it's been kind of crazy. We just basically beat the shit out of the uh, captain of the guard. And, uh, well, yeah, I mean, um, and this is me speaking as, Myself, not as Ribbone, right. because Ribbone has his own ideas. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys, like, I think you did a good job in our previous session of, like, you knew that obviously you four were going to be on a team, but uh, you did a good job of kind of being like, okay, I've seen you. I don't really know you, so I'm a little uncomfortable. So, like, um, you know, you've done a good job of coming together, but you guys basically went from, like, seeing kind of a weird, uh, you know, marital dispute over an eyeball disease to like like you said uh you know bagging the captain of the guard and like dragging him into a like poisoned uh drinking establishment you know so that's like a that's a pretty big uh you guys have had a day right well we need to get information from this guy Mm. i think Macbeth was going to ask him something well i was just saying um what do you guys all think of, like when you when you think uh, Chad and or the Jacksons are poisoning all this alcohol for the town? Why do you think they would even do that? Like, what's what do they have to gain? Because I don't have any ideas really. Aren't besides, yeah. good. Yeah, besides like maybe killing off most of the people so they can take over as as and make it into their new town. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, because aren't they salty that, like, their parents or predecessors dethroned or whatever? Hmm. Um, yeah, so, um, the, uh, I think they're probably living Jacksons that got, like, run out themselves. So it wasn't, you know, some members of the group were personally run out. Some are, some have heard the story or whatever. And then some have joined them because they like them more. And they're they're kind of uh, like, uh, without, I'm not going to lean too heavy on the Walking Dead references because I'm not caught up. But, uh, you know, they're kind of like just like a roving group of guys. They're like, uh, they're not like Negan's crew, but like what some of the first groups that the show came across with Negan's crew, you know what I mean? That just seem to be Those like bikers. wild hogs dudes. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So, um, so. I'm not sure if everyone knows that, like, I'm, I'm not, because we haven't talked about it, but mm. my character has the information from Pete at the common store that Chad is a, kind of like, in the lineage of the Jacksons. Right. Yeah, mm. Chad is, um, there's a, there's another, there's probably more people in town that are, like, you know, somehow related, like, uh, this is a town of 76 people, total. <laughs> right. So, um, you know. 
there there's like probably only four total families here um it's the smiths the jacksons uh the joneses and the johnsons probably so you know it's like uh the smiths there's not a lot of like um there's not a lot of diversity in the town pretty much everybody here is from here so um aside from a couple people which i think um well i won't won't get into it too much but uh you know everybody's like got some old history with the jacksons and it as actually kind of runs the inner town politics which is like oh well you know stinky pete got his original loan to open the general store from you know so and so jackson and you know there's there's a lot of like weird politics around that um so uh you know, this is, like Chad is a direct descendant, but that doesn't necessarily mean like if he wanted to, he could just like steal some stuff and go join the Jacksons out in the woods. And he hasn't. So, you know, that might mean something, but um, it's kind of up to you guys to interpret. Because he's spineless. Hmm. How much do we think that um, whoever we, we found out who poisoned the vat, right? Or was that something Possibly. we haven't figured out? Um, we found Rusty, the note. Yeah, Rusty saw people doing it, but he couldn't tell you much because he was on the. He got hit from behind. He was tied up on the floor. He didn't have a good vantage point or anything. So. Um, and all we have to go on right now is a note in the teal drawer that says "Keep it unlocked at so and so time." Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I and probably should have made that a handout too, but it was signed M. Right. Yep. MJ. Okay. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Mo Jackson, Mo money, Mo problems. Um. Trying to work out something horrifical though. Hmm. <laughs> Love it. Carry on. So, do you guys think we need to um keep a uh, Phil? tied up here and wait till he wakes up or should we just throw him in a alleyway and just act like nothing happened Jesus. let him wake up do we uh do we have like a an area like if we sent somebody with uh like a package for the jacksons could they find that um it's it's known where the jacksons kind of roam around um i think they uh i feel like the jacksons are living out of like a series of uh campers and mobile living spaces Uh um so they've i mean they of course they have some tents and stuff too but scab uh, would probably have info on like where that would be because i'm mm -hmm. outside Mm -hmm. town yeah i feel that um okay scab go ahead and do um what what is it uh listen to the uh open to the void or whatever um yeah open your brain well it's asking me for my input value uh should just be able to click it yeah it seems um I might, this, this might roll it for you so if i roll we're not going to count it um oh was that me that no, was, was me. me i did it i just okay. yeah, yeah it was asking if you had any bonuses or whatever okay that's a really good roll so um all right so we determined that yours was uh your interaction with um uh your interaction with the what was it the um I want to say say Vortex, that's not right. The Maelstrom. The Maelstrom. Uh, Your interaction with the Maelstrom was kind of like the... uh, It was kind of like a little bit like Wraith mode in uh, Lord of the Rings. Like things kind of gray out and you can like hear kind of like sweet music, right? Yes. Um, It's almost like a combination of Wraith mode and uh, when you play as a little sister in Bioshock 2. Which is amazing. That was really good. That's what art's for. Um, okay, so like, yeah, you you just kind of like, this is partially like, you just have an idea, but you're also checking with the Maelstrom to see if you have any like updated data. So basically you get like a, um, 
you, you hear, hear that, that that sound, um, that, that kind of like that uh, kind of pretty music, but you hear a voice very far away. away. And when you look toward uh, the voice is singing, and when you look toward the voice, um, you kind of see very far away somebody sitting in front of a campfire. And, uh, you know, it kind of like, you kind of like zoom in on them. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. It's not instant. But you're able to kind of zoom in on the person around the, the campfire. And uh, you see a tree that you know. And uh, it's not like you're just a weirdo and you memorize where trees are. But um, <laughs> just in the maelstrom, this particular tree is kind of reaching out to you. So you know a pretty good idea where at least one person in the Jacksons is right now, but you don't know who it is. Um, but I know my numbers, trees. But you know your trees. So um, yeah, you guys have a uh, a bit of an idea. I'm um, where so you, at. Yeah, you could okay. guide uh, you could guide the rest of the group up to that area, but like I said, it could be a trap. Um, let me take some notes on what the the Jacksons <clears throat> force looks like. I, I didn't necessarily want to go up there ourselves, but send possibly pay someone mm -hmm. uh, to um, deliver something. Yeah, deliver uh, possibly Phil's right arm to them or something. Jesus. And uh, <laughs> you know, we'll we'll, we'll be cool it. about it. I mean, just I'm down. We'll take a little off the top. Mm -hmm. And we'll make sure that it's nice and, you know, like cauterized and uh, he doesn't bleed out, maybe. And, uh, mm. you know, go from there. Make a weekend would, of it. That would suck. You wake up and your entire arm's literally gone. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have been a dick. Let's just hope he's a lefty so we're not that evil. Oh, my God. Um, I, yeah, I don't know if... Uh, anybody be willing to go out there because the the Jacksons do occasionally like run raids on the town. Right. Normally, a town of this size would not. They would have a sheriff, and that's it. They would not have multiple guards. You know what I mean? So, um, unless just so you know, Scab would be more than happy to run an arm up there. <clears throat> that's what I was gonna say. You guys could probably have somebody go do it, and you'd have to leave it. Like you could not send a messenger that said, "Oh, hey, here, I have something for you," and then like walk home. You'd have to like drop something off. So that could be done. Wait, wait, wait drop something off, like yeah, I could well, yeah, do scab, it. scab could go drop a package. Okay, so just do like a like a dead drop of like a like a thing of bird seed and a thing that says for Road Runner, like like Looney Tune style. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave like a, an arrow pointing. Yeah. Severed arm over here. Ew. I'm like, that's a little extra. I would just drop the arm, but whatever you say, man. Okay. Kid boomerang it right into their fire from a distance. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, can I do that? <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's horrific. Are you guys dedicated to cutting this dude's arm off? I'll cut it off my at god. the elbow. And, or uh, at the um at the shoulder. And then we'll just let it hang out for a little bit so rigor mortis sets in so it's a boomerang. We'll just leave it like... <laughs> like Before we angled. do any limb severing, what what would we be trying to tell them? Like, what message are we trying to send? Oh, I had no message in mind. Uh, <laughs> I just I was just looking to... This chainsaw's been sitting here, you know. Uh, just trying to get weird and wacky. Right. Uh, I mean, this is, let's say that there are no other ideas, is what I'm saying. Jesus. Uh, but I, I'm really feeling this idea. I mean, they are putting my fellow child things in danger. Are they? Like, I'm not or, cool with that. Or we could just tie this guy up, go grab Chad, bring him back. We'll cut off both of their arms and then send them. That's cool, too. I'm cool with grabbing how... Chad. You what? I'm cool with grabbing Chad. Maybe hang him. Hanging Chad. Uh, he's the hanging Chad. <laughs> Great Halloween costume. I get it. <laughs> Do we want the Jacksons to know we're on to them and what they're up to? They're gonna know who we are. Well, to be fair, I don't think that they're gonna expect us all to be uh, 
hanging out. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. So your idea of like trying to just like open the town up for them to move in is pretty close. Um, so yeah, they could, I mean, you know, they could assume that people are going to leave because they're trying to avoid, uh, getting infected. They might be trying to make everybody sick so they can roll in and take over. They might just be trying to kill a couple people for revenge, you know? Mm. Um, cause like, uh, you know, the, uh, the red eye is not like super fatal. It's not super infectious. Um, you know, as far as like smallpox blankets go, it's not a very effective chemical weapon. So, um, you know, it might be, that's all they have to work with. So, so, hmm. We could, I I mean, they need to spy on them. Well, yeah, we're at, we're at like a crossroads here, uh, where we could eliminate, obviously this guy has given me quite some quite a bit of problems um Mm. so i mean personally he's not good for me i don't know how the rest of you feel about him but uh we get rid of him and someone else uh phil we get rid of him and then we fix this problem with the jacksons uh someone else will take phil's place that hopefully won't be a dick and then we won't have to kill him again and Mm. uh uh you know the town will have a little more a little bit more of a just uh... Pe- people wouldn't violent. be trying to poison other people is what I'm saying. If you take out mm-hmm. Phil, you have to risk the wrath of if anyone else on the you know the guards wants to come investigate why suddenly Phil's gone. That's true, but I mean yeah, I don't know how many people. They don't like Phil either. Phil's like their dick boss. And and I'm not sure if too many people really know that we have him in here. So, you know, how many times do people die outside the bar? I feel like it's probably a lot. Mm-hmm. No okay, doing of mine, of course. Well, what did you say, Shannon? Who's team kill Phil and who's team kill team... Phil? <laughs> I just, I have the tools, so I, I think I'm probably team kill Phil. <laughs> He's been a dick. Yeah, my my character... I just can't openly endorse the right, guard, Mark. even though he's okay. a dick. Yeah. Okay. Elvara, you're our, like, deciding. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a why not. He is kind of an ass, so. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. Might as well. Um, That's not in character. That's just Ashley as a person. <laughs> yeah, that's Ooh, just a she-roll. No, no. <laughs> Um, yes, as a person and character, thank you. Well, how how would this affect the relationship with all of us and Macbeth? Because we're kind of strong arming. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, killing somebody. You know, you could. Uh, just... I think Macbeth is down for, like, shipping some body parts around. Possibly, but we have to keep him alive. Maybe like a finger. An arm is pretty drastic. What if, what if we get rid of him, but? Instead of killing him, I can tie him up and drive him off somewhere and just drop him. <laughs> and he'll never know how to get back. Uh, well, the guards know the area pretty well. He'll definitely be able to get but it would be a while. Okay. Can I still take a hand? Like, you can live without a hand. Jesus. <laughs> you can gouge his eyes out so that he doesn't know where he's going back. Uh, oh, that's <laughs> a better idea. I like that one. Can I get, like, a plus one for both of those people? They made me happy. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> keep that in mind. <laughs> the eye gouging is a fantastic idea. Okay, I'm going with this. Drive him oh, out, but someone needs to gouge his eyes out. <laughs> Both eyeballs. I have a spear. Oh. He can't see his way back then. I mean, he'll still be alive. Let's drop a hot coal in them. So it just <laughs> burns its way in and also, you know, seals it up a bit. I see we're doing a villainous playthrough. <laughs> What? We could give him a bunch of uh, the beer that's tainted. That's Shirt I'm wearing that. says Villain Club. I, I feel like this is just like. Uh, <laughs> oh, is that from? Uh, is that from Loot Box? Loot Crate? No. Oh, okay. Well, if we gave him enough of the tainted red eye stuff, would that? I like... mean, those eyes potentially could be out of commission. Yeah. They get gunky. 
It could be so, so blurry that he doesn't recognize anybody. So we just slide over to the garage and just grab a funnel, jam it in his throat, Yo. and just start pouring this stuff in, right? <laughs> um, yeah, you guys can yeah. definitely... Uh, so, you know, the back door's open <laughs> because, you know, it doesn't <laughs> exist. Uh, you guys can go over and... Uh, you want to you want to grab a couple of those bottles and just see where the night takes you. I like this idea much better than murdering. Okay. <laughs> you need to do something with this chance. For my. All right, I, I, I I'm 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 fine with it as long as we uh, get to raid this uh, these Jackson guys compound at some point. Mm-hmm. I agree. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. All right, so uh, who's going to go and do the deed? I'm probably the most uh, well-equipped, so I'm just going to pick him up, carry mm-hmm. him. So you drag him to the back? A, a dark corner. Mm-hmm. Plus, you don't trust anyone else to, like, not kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally <laughs> drop him on his neck. Accidentally shove a whole bottle down his throat. Accidentally stab him 14 times. Wait, I thought oh. that was the plan. The bottle part, I mean. <laughs> Well, literally putting a full <laughs> glass bottle on his throat probably would not work out. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. <clears throat> okay, okay, so we got Macbeth. Yeah, I think Macbeth is like holding him down and, and uh, the rest of you guys each supply him with a bottle from the back. I think he was like, he was passed out and then once we start pouring drink into him, he's like half awake. and Yeah, he's kind of like, uh, it's almost like you splash some water on him. Like he's starting to come around a little bit. Um, did you get? Uh, did you guys time up? Oh yeah. Um, yeah, the rope is there from before, so mm-hmm. it, you know it's not a problem. Um, all right, so you kind of start wrapping him up. Um, he is kind of struggling. Uh, once you get, so you get a full. I think you get a full bottle into him, and then uh, at that point he's pretty aware and he's he's struggling. So um, Macbeth, go ahead and roll hard. Um, and we'll see. I don't know what the new thing it's asking is, so just leave it at zero. Unless somebody is helping to restrain him. Um, okay, yeah, that's fine. So, I mean, like I said, he's tied up, so uh, partial success is fine. Um, so, you you know, he's kind of struggling, and you, like, kind of clap him on the shoulders and, like, push him back a little bit just to, like, kind of spook him and let him know that you're in control and you can handle him if he tries to act up. And uh, um, so Scab hands you the second bottle. And uh, as you hold it up and pop the top of it off, uh, well, they don't have a bottling facility here, do they? So it's probably just corks holding it in. Um, I imagined it was like uh, those bottles that have the the cap that like is like fixed yeah, do. to the top of the bottle. Yeah, yeah, like, like the aluminum. Over uh, and yeah, yeah, kind of like rack. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Style. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, so you you kind of like unscrew that and like pop it off and. Uh, as you do that, um, you know, Phil is like looking and he's like, he, he's uh, kind of sputtering and, you know, is uh, coughing a little bit. And he's like, <coughs> what, it, <coughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Just shove it in his mouth. I don't oh respond. <laughs> he's drinking it. This is, when, your own medicine. this is when I look directly to the, like the, the quote list for the psycho from Borderlands. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm going to make hammocks from your eyelids. Jesus. <laughs> um, okay, so so uh, he's a uh, he's definitely like very confused, but uh, he doesn't look like um, he's really freaked out. But he's he doesn't look like afraid for his life. Um, so you're I like, don't like you, that. You get through most of the second bottle, and uh, you kind of like pull it away from his mouth to give him a chance to breathe, and then you just dump the rest of it in. And uh, a lot of it, he's like, he's like spitting a lot of it back up, but you know, he's getting most of it down, but uh, you know, so he's like all like sudsy around his mouth and chest. And uh, he's like, <clears throat> why, what, why are you, why are you trying to get me drunk? <laughs> and then he checks his asshole real quick to make sure it's okay. And, and it's not. <laughs> <clears throat> Does anybody say anything? Oh, that didn't happen. Um, the 
I mean, is a hole in you guys. You guys aren't one hundred percent sure if he checked, but he <laughs> looks like he checked. Um, I mean, he, he, doesn't he have a knowledge of what has happened with the the alcohol? Um, you want to? Uh, you could ask him. Maybe you could say, try to say something that doesn't necessarily give away your knowledge to him, and then try to read the situation on him or read a person. I guess it would be. So, um, see if you can, like, come up with a sentence that will not tell him, like, hey, the, your buddy's poisoned the shit, and now you're gonna die. Um, so, like, don't give it away, just to, like, see if he knows, and then roll to see what you find. You know what I'm saying? Right. Kind of, like, something along the lines of anything could be in this alcohol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll work. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and roll the read. Uh, roll read. Good shit. luck. Yeah, good fucking luck. Luckily, it's not English. <laughs> yep. Ooh. I'm the um, I'm not the person to roll read. Yeah, so he like, um, you know, so you say that. You're like, well, there could be anything in this. And he like kind of looks at the bottle and he looks at you. He looks at the bottle again. And you're, uh, you're trying to keep a close eye on him to see what kind of reaction he gets. And he goes, uh, it looks like beer. Wait, what do you roll for read? Uh, sharp. What is that? Sharp. sharp. Oh, sharp. Sharp, yeah. Okay. Can I say something like, this is what you get for poisoning mine and my own? And he, uh, he kind of looks over at you, and, uh, I think, yeah, he didn't know that you're, like, a weird alien, right? So, I, um, I... yeah, he just looks over and he's like, uh, I think he remembers, uh, having a rock lobbed at him, and, um, He's just kind of like, what are you talking about? Poison? Uh, is this taste strange to you? And I'd like to roll sharp because I have it highlighted for this session. Mm -hmm. So yeah, give yourself an experience point for that. Um, earlier, somebody, oh, scab rolled weird. I gave you an experience point for that. Okay. Can I roll sharp? Um, okay, so, uh, what did you say to him? I asked him if it tasted weird to him. He, uh, he's kind of like, like I said, there's a lot of, like, froth around him and, like, spillage. He kind of, like, licks around his mouth, and he's like, uh, maybe a little bit. What do you mean? And, uh, you can tell that he appears to not know what you're talking about. Well, he's, <laughs> he's already drunk it anyway, it's too late. Yeah, so that's, uh, you got two bottles it. fully into them, right? Yeah, more or less. Wait, how many bottles do we bring to this party? Yeah, there should be three. One. I think you each got one. All right, well, he's got one more to go, either way. <laughs> Jesus. Um, just a second, making a note for myself here. Um, okay, so he... Uh, I think, um, so it's been a little while. It's been quiet. Uh, you've probably had him in here. Uh, he was probably unconscious for 15, 20 minutes before you started splashing beer on him and you guys have kind of been messing with him. So um, I think it's probably been like 45 minutes to an hour. And uh, you actually hear old rattlesnake Rusty uh, kind of like <laughs> probing around the door. Uh, who was who was watching the door? I thought it was. Yeah, but he was. Okay. We didn't designate anybody. Hmm. Well, I mean, you can just kind of say if you want. I, I will. Yeah, I figured okay. it was. Yeah. So, yeah, um, so Alvaro, you, you kind of see him poking his head around the corner. Uh, and you, you kind of like, you know, give your the, the like head tilt. That's like, okay, get in here, buddy. And uh, he kind of comes over. And when he gets in and he's looking around, sees that you have uh, Phil on the floor. Uh, Rusty's like, uh, what are you guys doing? Stuff. Uh, <laughs> things. <laughs> Not much. What's going on? Just can, so. can I use cool for like you know doing something under fire? Like because he's kind of like because he's kind of like you know hey like what's going on? Just to like kind of like manipulate him. Yeah. I guess yeah. that would be more. Would that be more hot or cool? Um. Because cool is. I mean, it's kind of a fire situation. He's kind of like hey, you know, sketched but out. But what are what do you what do you think you're gonna say? Because if this fails, oh, then you won't be saying that. But yeah. That's a good question. 
<laughs> We're just hanging out. <laughs> okay, yeah, I roll it. That's cool. Roll it. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Very cool. That's too cool. Hey, man, we're hanging and banging. Good time, not a long time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Breaking necks and cash and checks, you know. Oh, yeah. regular Saturday night. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Well, you still get experience for that, so. Go ahead. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, it's. Uh... She comes at us with a solid two. <laughs> <laughs> I had the plus three. I tried. Oh man. Um, so so yeah, you're like. Uh, I, I think you're really t- good at rolling. <laughs> you try to say like a good one-liner. I think you're like, uh, you try to just drop something like, uh, "Hey man, isn't this your normal uh, weekday night or something like that?" And um, <laughs> it just comes out as like, uh, "We're we're uh, giving this guy pink eye." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's he's like, oh, he's, he's like, okay, I've been I, so I made it back to my house, and I had to come back here right away because you know I saw the flyer. And it said that, uh, you know, everybody's infected or whatever from the beer. So, like, you guys are trying to infect him? No. Hold Can on. I who? look at him and say go? <laughs> Can I just tell him to leave? Turn into something uh, haunting and just stir the shit out of him. I think you have that You have that prepped and ready to go. What What was Macbeth going to say? Who, is, who did we have tied up last session? I, I'm trying to remember the names. Was that him? Yeah, yeah it was him? Rusty. Yeah, he was already tied up. You didn't. He was tie already him. tied up. I kicked him. Yeah, that was fucked up. <laughs> so he's probably not a huge fan of seeing other people tied up with the same ropes that you cut him free from. <laughs> See, peed all over those ropes, dude. Well, we're gonna go get new ropes. ropes. I mean, yeah, it's good. For, that's a good point. What do you think? Rope grows on trees around here. Um, I guess we could okay, have went so, out and picked up a bunch of rocks and just done like the whole like stoning thing. That's We're true. Just, like we didn't have a lot of options here is what I'm saying. Okay. So uh, yeah, I think that's fair. I think you say like, um, I, I think Ribbone kind of turns to him and says, uh, we weren't allowed to kill him. So, and then just kind of like holds his hand up to like, like kind of like offering, like, here's where we are. Yeah. Um. And uh, yeah, Rusty's like mildly horrified. Uh, he's not like sprinting away or anything, but he's like, uh, I, I, I don't think that, uh, I don't think this is such a good idea. I don't think you guys should be doing this. I, I'll step towards Rusty mm-hmm. and go, uh, like trying to be a little bit um, intimidating and be like, look, man, we're trying to get to the bottom of all this shit going on around here are you mm-hmm. with us or are you against us right now okay Ooh. roll a hot on that for sure a hot yeah you're seducing, <laughs> you're seducing the house, his ass Ooh. <laughs> so he says uh That's like right on the edge though isn't it yeah Damn. he uh he looks both ways he's just kind of like looking around the uh the the bar and he goes i can't be a part of this and he uh starts running out the door is anybody gonna I mean, mm-hmm. I don't, you don't have any more rope, so. I mean, but I mean, we can sandwich two people together, is what I'm saying. Can I, can I, can I use hot and try to seduce him to stop him? I know, it's, too, it's too late for that. Uh, my heart's really bad. I wouldn't want to use hard. I mean, you guys are so no, I mean, my heart's hot. really good, but I don't, kind of don't want to kill him. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally, like. My, My best stat right, right now is cool. cool. Can, can I, can, can I just straight up tackle him? him? No, I, he's too far away from you. Okay. I, I think Alvar is the only one that's arms reach, and uh, the, the other, other two could possibly throw something. something. Yeah, um, I have a thrown stone. Right. Uh, but, okay. yeah, I, Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth definitely doesn't have time to because you're like down. You have one arm on the guy. You got empty bottles of beer all over the place. Um, I, I mean, I can try cool again, like try to tackle him and stop him. Um, let me look at the, uh, stats real quick. But how do we know he's even going to rat us out? Like, yeah, he didn't say I'm going to the police. He doesn't want to be part of this, so he's going to leave, and that's fine. Isn't it like a better yeah. safe than sorry kind of thing, though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but see, Scab doesn't live in town, so kind of doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, I think last session we established he wasn't really a part of, like, letting the people in and keeping the door unlocked. Well, he was, but he was kind of ignorant about it mm-hmm. yeah 
So he's not really. He's not bad, bad side. but like we can let him go. And like I, I think I, I think I'll be like, and I'm pretty sure he's giving me a free drink or two. But uh, mm-hmm. you know, so so I, I feel like way. I would be okay with letting him go. But that's gonna come back to haunt us probably. Okay, it's honestly so, up to the DM what he does. I'm not, I'm really not sure what he would do if he let him go. Yeah, he just, uh, I mean, you see him sprint out, and uh, Alvara kind of like takes a few steps and like follows him out into the alley, and you know, you're a couple steps behind him, and you just kind of keep an eye on him to see where he's going. Um, as he leaves, so we we uh, determine that the door is kind of back here in the back end of the bar there. Mm-hmm. Um, can you guys see when I do the measure thing? Can you see? Yeah. That? yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he comes around here. Goes this way, and uh, he lives kind of in uh, this building ish um, over here. This kind of question mark thing. This is probably, I think it's just like a tenement building. Yeah. Um, so it's not like a standalone house or anything like a couple other people have. It's just, you know, apartments pretty much. So he's he's just kind of running this way. Um, so, you know, if he wanted to bust you guys, he'd run straight down here to the guardhouse. So he doesn't appear to be going towards the guards. Like, I mean, um, you know, just based on where you are, you only can see until he gets about, uh, to here, uh, a little past the water house or the, uh, yeah, the water tower. Sorry. So, um, you know, he's, he's, uh, doesn't appear to be going to the guards, but you can't be sure. What do you guys think? Want to just let him go for and save it for another day? Do we yeah, have we'll, bigger problems? Yeah. yeah. We'll, uh, just try to wrap this up and then figure out what we can figure out move on mm-hmm. yeah okay um yeah so he uh you know he's out of there uh you guys at this point i think kind of get the idea like okay let's kind of like wrap it up it's probably not a great idea to be squatting here much longer um but like you know we have a couple people at least rusty knows where we are and may and may not be friendly at this point so um what uh what are you gonna do with uh old phil here Thought we were tossing him in the trunk of the car and dropping him somewhere. Yeah, that's still my plan. He's a little uh. So you Look, got two full beers in him. He's he's like a little woozy because he hasn't had anything to eat in a while, and also he had one nard explode in his pants, and not in a good way. So um, how uh? He's pretty much out of. I mean, like he probably couldn't run in a straight line if he got up. You know. That's fine. I feel like we should still tie him up, like uh, like tie him up somewhere, mm-hmm. possibly by his feet hanging from somewhere. Jesus. And then if he gets out, he gets out. If he doesn't, then he doesn't. What so, if we, what if we him? give him the give him the third beer, keep the cap on, uh-huh. and he'll be so far out of town, like in the wilderness, that he's gonna have to drink liquid to survive. So he'll have no choice but to finish it. The savage. That's he's, amazing. He's just yeah, wandering around, stumbling. So it'll actually make him need more water. Uh, okay, so um, yes, you guys just do you just dump him somewhere, or are you gonna try to leave? Him? What was that last part? Are you gonna are you just gonna dump him, or are you gonna try to like leave him somewhere to be found? You know what I mean? Oh no, I feel like I don't think somewhere. I want him to be found. I don't know about yeah. you guys. Okay. Are we letting him keep his eyes, or are we taking those out? <laughs> I think the compromise was he keeps his eyes, but like they're just gonna be real fucked up from the <sighs> No. <laughs> Jesus. Fine. <clears throat> okay. Um so yeah, the you know, the garage is right here. So um Macbeth, you're able to run over and grab your car. Did you uh did you have like a fancy name for it or anything? My Jeep? Yeah. Like you could name it the bad boy or something if you want to. <laughs> Its name is Jasmine. Jasmine the Jeep. Yep. Okay, so you She's run over and... Uh, dependable. You, you grab Jasmine, and uh, it's the only woman you've ever truly loved. <laughs> and uh, you're kind of able to, um, you know, you, you your car's just been kind of like chilling there. So you grab Jasmine, swing around, uh, kind of up like you... Uh, let's get back to the roller there. You come out of the garage, kind of head up and around back over here to kind of like an open area. Uh, everybody kind of hustles, uh, fill out, tosses him in the back. Uh, does everybody jump in or do you just leave Macbeth to handle it? Or do you split up or? 
Anybody want to come along? What's the like? What's the status? Like, what are we doing next? Are we going to that just... tree location? Are we gonna ask around no, town think, a bit more? And yeah, I think everybody just wanted to go and like toss him in the woods, so he's kind of hung up for a couple hours, days, yeah, years. <laughs> Becomes a wild man, just lives in the woods. I want to go a little bit far so he doesn't make his way back to town immediately. Right. Maybe and like I mean, like, he is, away. like, severely disoriented, too. Yeah. Um, well, his, think, his eyes so, are going to be unrecoverable. Yeah. I think you guys have his uh, hands tied up in front of him. Um, well, while he's in the car, you have him completely tied. But when you dump him, I think you tie him with his hands in front of him and you put the bottle in his hands and just kind of take off and leave him. Asmin. I go with Macbeth and I just uh-huh. stare at him the whole time that I'm in the passenger seat. Uh huh. So you just like it, like you're uh you're like turned around, just staring at him. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Love it. As yeah. his vision slowly fades forever, <laughs> he just sees season. those <laughs> disturbing eyes. Um. No, I mean Macbeth. I'm just staring at Macbeth. <laughs> oh my god, that's even worse. Feels <laughs> <laughs> like a hood ornament. <laughs> um. Okay, so it is uh at this point um you guys went out kind of like midday so it was like afternoon when you first showed up at the bar so by the time you got everything handled i think it's starting to get dark and you know it does uh it gets dark a little earlier in the mountains um so it's maybe i don't know it's like six maybe um maybe like 5 45 something like that so um you know it's not like late late like people are still well people would be at the bar if it wasn't out of commission but um so, you know, there's still kind of stuff going on in the town. Uh, if if everybody went with Macbeth, then you guys probably get back like an hour or two after that. Um, otherwise, we can have Ribbone and Alvara kind of blend back into town and act like nothing weird's going on. Um, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah. Uh, I yeah, I think there's some people hanging out at the uh, water tower. Um, otherwise, we kind of... Um, the town basically uh, is able to survive on like trade. Um, they get some uh, some basic minerals, and uh, basically all they're doing is processing old loads of stuff, and they're they're moving some coal out and stuff like that. So that most of the stuff is used in the town. Um, you know, a lot of the uh, the 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 general like this whole town used to be, I think, just like a mineral processing plant, and all of the buildings were. A part of that plant so um th- that kind of explains a little bit more of the background of why the town's here and also why it's in a cliff face they used to go into parts of the cliff and in the surrounding area and the into the rock to get stuff so um you know that so keep that in mind as you're looking at these buildings a lot like the common store was a warehouse these uh um these row buildings over here by the little shanty town those are that was a warehouse the town hall was a warehouse the guardhouse was a warehouse this question mark building over here was a warehouse so um most of it was storage or you know there are some uh these over here were employee housing and that's why there's some some unique little uh house house units that people have um so that's just a little bit more background on the town i guess that's developed um so yeah, you guys just kind of. Uh, I think the question mark is um, when I was originally thinking uh, that was Madame Clarice's red house, basically the whole well, house, she's, right? Yeah, she's definitely in some part over here. Um, uh, she's probably in, either in this bottom. She's probably in this bottom unit. So she has like uh, this is a couple buildings put together, but they're definitely meant to be housing. So she has the one that's closest to the guardhouse. And uh, mm-hmm. she's got some ladies of the night in there. Um, is that where you're heading, bud? Oh, man. I would say that's that's probably the bopping place in town. I mean, between, uh, you know, there's some people around the water tower, which has some, like, sort of like a public access uh, pump at the bottom that you can fill up and carry water around. There's not, Even like, people behind. Like, that's plausible deniability because, like, Right. They have no they idea have been involved. what you guys did. Right. Um, also, so yeah, like basically the, 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 uh, the store, uh, the general store doesn't really have, uh, 
you know, they, they, he did actually run out of his own like store of alcohol. So there's a couple people bumming around there, but not really. Uh, most people are either at the whorehouse or um, hanging out the, the water tower just because there's not a lot else going on. Um, so there's a lot, there's less people out than usual uh, for this time of day. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go blend in at the um, Madame Claris's mm -hmm. place. The red, the red house. Right. Yeah. The red house. Um, and you're gonna do the same thing, Alvara? Yeah, because she's like my person. So yeah. 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 You you've got a, some rapport with her. Yeah. Um. Okay. So the other two, uh, I think, uh, Macbeth and Scab. I think it's gonna be pretty cut and dry, like. You guys just kind of like pick a random direction. I think, um, like Scab, you you don't want this guy dumped near your den because, no. well, first off, your siblings would kill him if they got the chance to need him. So um, way to go. that would kind of defeat that, like the purpose of keeping him alive. Yeah. And also, uh, you don't necessarily want Macbeth to know where your den is. Yeah. And, you know, potentially that, I don't know, if this guy could get his wits about him and break that beer bottle and stab one of your brothers and sisters or whatever. So you don't want that either. So, um, so you guys don't head that way, but you also don't want to head toward that guy, you, the tree you saw with the, the, the man at the fire. So you guys just go in an, a different direction than those, just so uh, we, you know, keep the continuity in our head here. Um, otherwise, it's pretty much uneventful. Like he blacks out uh while you're moving phil um phil goes back unconscious you just kind of dump him and he he's i think he wakes up as you guys are dumping him like as you're moving him mm -hmm. and uh he's not happy and as you're driving away he's like what no no you can't just leave me here and he tries to like get up but he falls down because he's still like too out of it and uh you just kind of like my horn a few times to say goodbye <laughs> 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 hold up a middle finger in the rear view <laughs> I wanted to have like a specialty horn. <laughs> yep, that's good. Uh, old Bessie may have the ability to do that, but you pay extra. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, I'm gonna say, um, yeah. So your guys' a uh, your guys' car ride is like, what do you think? Like maybe almost two hours, like an a, yeah, almost an hour out, almost an hour back. Um, yeah. So on foot, I mean, not only does he not know, where, but, you know, you have a Jeep, so you went off-road a little bit, and uh, Definitely. he was asleep most of the way there. So um, it's going to take him a good while to get back. I mean, what is the difference? Uh, Shannon, you've done some of this Google Maps stuff, like <laughs> a mile or like, let's say like 10 minutes by car. What is it by foot or bike? I mean, it's like triple, quadruple sometimes, like right? 30 minutes. Yeah. So, I mean, if you guys, if you're more than an hour out and you're over rough terrain and in a random direction, it's going to take this dude probably a full 24 hours to get back. I would like, um, I think to my work is 20 minutes driving, but hours. Yeah. yeah. That's assuming, hour that's assuming this disease doesn't kick in and screw his eyesight. Right. And that's also assuming like, um, yeah, so his, his eyes are gonna be messed up. That's what I'm saying. So like, in a, in a normal circumstance, unless we determine something weird happens to him out there, um, he's going to be back tomorrow, probably late in the day, probably similarly late in the day. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see how that plays out. But, um, okay, so your guys' is, your guys is, uh, ride's mostly uneventful. It pretty much goes to plan. Um, Alvaro and Macbeth, I think. Um, you mean Alvaro and uh, Rib Yeah, Alvaro and Ribbone. Sorry Rib about that. Um, as you guys are checking out the red house um it's not like you know when you see the uh like uh whorehouse saloon it's like got the big fun main entry room that everybody's chilling out and like getting drunk and then you go off to the rooms or whatever this is like a normal like townhouse so it's like very tight conditions in there it's uh very much like people are packed in nuts to butts um <laughs> and sometimes a little extra if you pay extra you get even tighter oh uh, my god <laughs> so that kind of place. Um, they do uh clarice actually had um as soon as everything started going down she was not an idiot and went and procured all of the like clean alcohol she could get that was my big so question. yeah so um she's she is i mean this place is like wild tonight 
Uh, it's a lot more people than usual. It's a lot sweatier than usual. And, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> there's 76 total people that live in this town, not including you four. There's like 63 people in here. <laughs> it's wild. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting really crazy in there. And I think, uh, do you guys, uh, I, are you both going to do some drinking while you're there? Uh, I was going to. And, yeah. Yeah. and I wanted we, to uh, keep an eye out for Chad to see if he happened to stumble in. Oh, you know, Chad's got something going on here. Uh, so go ahead and um, what were you going to say? Ashley? I wasn't going to say anything. No, I just said, yeah, I plan to drink too. Okay. Oh, that is um, all right. So you guys, uh, oh, they added a barter counter too under gear. That's nice. Um, so I forget how much money everybody has, but uh, you guys are going to spend one barter and this will take care of. It says um, I have oddments worth two barter. Yeah, that's fine. So you'll so just go down to one and you can actually put it in the counter here. Um, why do I have zero under barter? Uh, well, that, that that thing is new. So you probably do have it listed somewhere else. I think you had one or two left as you well. You can roll barter? Uh, I don't know what it would be for. That'd probably be if two people are fighting over something. Um, click roll barter and see what it does. Yeah. Uh, amount of barter to roll. Uh, it better not take it away from you. Well, I mean, if it does, I'll just put it back. Oh, yeah, that's true. You can just put it back. Okay, Forward yeah, help interface. Uh, inter uh, just ignore that. Okay, okay that's kind of weird. Um, so that would probably be if you're, like, fighting for something. Um, so you could say, like... Or haggling? Yeah, so you could say, okay, I want to pay one barter for this. So you'd roll one. If you succeed, then it would cost one. If you don't, then you can say, okay, well, I'm going to roll two barter. And then if that doesn't work, then you're probably fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that makes sense. Or if you're like bidding for something over somebody else, or um, I mean, I can think of some situations where that would work. So uh, we'll possibly do that someday. Um, okay, so uh, you guys are both down one barter. So just subtract one from whatever you have. I think if you don't see it anywhere else, Ashley, I think you had two. Pretty much everybody had two. Okay. So um, just go down to one and go ahead and put that in that barter box so you can roll it if you ever need to. Okay. Um, but yeah, so uh, that'll handle you guys. So like you can uh, pretty much that's like your services taken care of. So whatever the service is, it's up to you. But uh, yeah, so you guys like and you're also able somewhere to crash there for the night. Um, solo or uh, otherwise. So, um, you know, if, like ultimately that could be like, hey, I'm sleeping on the couch, um, which they have several couches laying around and there's like dubious, like colored stains all over these couches. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing fresh that you know of, um, but it's like, ooh, probably, probably a light tan couch was not a good choice of color. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so you guys are um, just kind of chilling out there. So you can go ahead and determine can name some uh people here if you'd like and so we can have some uh recurring uh whorehouse characters mm. so we got madame clarice of course um so yeah who's uh so somebody who uh like if you guys are trying to read situations or um use hot to like get some information out of people um just determine like say who you're talking to and whether they are a patron or a employee. And we'll see what we can get out of people. I'm trying to think of awesome names. <laughs> mm -hmm. Old one leg Lindsay. <laughs> She's real popular. It sucks. We already bought Rattlesnake and he's like the coolest. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like for this town, a lot of them would have names of gemstones just because it's a mining town. Oh, that's interesting. That yeah. is so smart. Yeah, I like that. Ruby. Oh, boy. She sounds like a... Uh, I don't want to say yep. that. That's not the word we're using here. Um, yeah, it is. Is it? She's got a hook hand. <laughs> Ruby with the hook hand. Ruby with, like the hook hand. with the hook hand. with the hook hand. I wrote that. Uh, that's all written down, so that's canon. <laughs> 
Ruby has a hook hand. Now, why would anybody choose a hook? You might say. You'd be surprised. <laughs> You'd be very surprised. It's a real good for. Uh, well, I feel like everyone's gonna have like some sort of disfigurement. Well, she okay, yeah. So you're talking to Ruby. We'll look <laughs> yeah. At Ruby. Um, okay, so yeah, you, you're just. Uh, I think you're just like maybe you noticed her before and you were like, "Damn, that's pretty badass." Like yeah. hook her with a hook. Um, <laughs> so uh, you remember it from before, and she kind of recognizes you as you walk up yeah. to her, and uh, you're just like, "So, uh, what's that thing for?" <laughs> and she says, um, "Well, you can tell it has. It doesn't have a sharp tip. It's uh, it's like blunted." And she goes, oh, guys love this when I stick it in their ass. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, boy. If you're trying to Listen quickly to walk by her, she'll she'll grab you and keep you there. Mm -hmm. If you've been standing on stage for too long, she'll reach out and like pull you <laughs> off stage. <laughs> she'll hook you. I mean, that's a good thing. Grab <laughs> <laughs> uh, you with a hook hand. That worked out. <laughs> I'm really proud of that. Um, okay, so you do do you try to? Uh, um, are you trying to like find out any information on? Uh, like, are you going to ask about Chad? Because you know Chad gets hooked. You just as soon as she describes <laughs> what that hooks for, you know who gets it. Yeah. I mean, we probably should. Okay, let me look at the. Uh... Everybody's stats again because I still haven't memorized the system. Um, yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll hot and um, see if you can kind of get her to drop her uh, Dr. Quiet beats. confidentiality. Yeah, juicy right. beats. <laughs> um, really? Yep. It's just You've got to be day. kidding me. Uh, she can tell that you were repulsed by her. Uh, now that you are up close to her, you can kind of smell a faint, like, fecal residue on the claw. <laughs> she doesn't watch How it. How close are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's, this lady's, like, very animated when she talks. Like, she's waving her arms all over the place, and it, it comes a little close. Me for real life. A couple times. <laughs> she hooks your cheek a little bit. She, she kind of, like, <laughs> she, she, like, uh, at one point you say something to her, and she laughs and, like, claps you on the shoulder with it, so it's gotten oh. a little personal. And it's, it's just, like, it's not dirty, but it's just like, you know. But it's dirty. <laughs> if you put your hands in potato, potato soup, soup all day, they're going to smell like potato soup. soup. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. And, and she's, she's getting some potatoes. potatoes. <sighs> and it's soupy. <laughs> well, that's enough for tonight. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, you know, all the, the alcohol <laughs> and everybody that runs. So, um, it's nice playing with you guys. Yep. R rated. <laughs> Demonetized. Demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah. So uh, she uh, she's not really like she says that it's like her her clients think that um, her kind of like keeping quiet is really important. So she's she doesn't feel comfortable like risking her job. And I think she uh, I think at this point like somebody has seen that hook. One of the guys in the crowd and. Uh, he, he kind of, like, takes her off to go upstairs. <laughs> Maybe you should try talking Rhythm? to the... <laughs> I feel like you should try talking to the, the old crazy lady of the group. I feel like there's an old crazy uh, uh, whore in the group. Well, there's Isn't definitely uh, Clarice. I think I think Clarice is, like, really crafty and really smart. Yeah, um, no, no. I, I'm talking about the old drunk one that's just running around uh -huh. with no top on. Yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. So, um, that's going to be... Uh... Chastity. Chastity. That's it. <laughs> that always I was is. Gonna say peaches. Peaches is really good. Peaches like Chastity it. is her name. She's like seventy years old. Uh, yeah, she is. Uh, she says really fucked up things. <laughs> peaches Chastity. Um, just she's like no teeth says something about like oh nothing sweeter than peaches. It's just real <laughs> creepy and gross. <laughs> So I have written down uh, Chastity, comma Peaches, sixty-three-year-old <laughs> experienced hooker. Um, okay, so do you go talk to Peaches? I think uh, I'm not interested. Thank you, though. 
I think that Ribbone is, um, he's kind of got like a Geralt from The Witcher thing going on. Like, he's just a weird, like, scary dude, but you know that he can mess some stuff up. So there's uh, some of the, um, some of the, the newer girls are, and one newer guy is hanging around Ribbone. Just because it's like, hey, this guy probably has some ill-gotten gains, and... Uh, like he can take care of me if something weird get, goes down. Because, like I said, this place is super busy and there's no security. Um, actually, I think uh, I feel like they should fear me if there's no security. <laughs> that's a good point. Um, I there mean, is some security. I mean, he's he's off the clock, but Robbie is there, which was the guard that got scared when he saw Scab transform. Um, he's just got a lot on his mind and he needs to take a load off. You know what I mean? He saw some weird shit today. He saw some weird shit today, and he just wants to, like, blow out. He's, like, completely drunk. He's blind. And, uh, I think, um, actually, I think he might be the one who got hooked. Or is getting hooked, I should say. <laughs> so you can hear upstairs somebody going, Oh, the guys aren't gonna believe! Hot, 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 hot! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, uh... <laughs> I like the idea that there's one guy being out and everything is just people hanging out. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's, fucked up. that's always the vibe. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, so Peaches is in the room. She probably knows what's up. Um, who else we got? Who else we working with here? Peaches should have a daughter named N Cream. <laughs> and... <laughs> Her first name's Anne Cream. It's um, Anne, Anne, Anne Cream. Anne. Anne with a like a little apostrophe. Apostrophe Anne. That's good. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, there's a there's a young guy with uh, nipple clamps walking around and assless chaps, <laughs> and uh, his name's Danny. Um, I'm writing some notes for myself here. He's gonna be incredibly plot vital. I bet. Um. And he is, at first, he was kind of hanging out near Ribbone, because Ribbone is uh, probably the most insane-looking guy that's not getting hooked right now. So he was like, oh, okay, maybe this guy's into dudes, so I'm just going to like kind of hover near him and see if he's going to you know, pay me. And uh, when that didn't happen, I think he walks over to Alvara. He's got the clamps that have the chain in between. <sighs> you can like, grab and yank on those bad boys if you want to. I was just going to ask if I could. Stop. You took my he's thunder. fully milked. <laughs> no. what does that even mean or yep. is he? <laughs> he says you need to take me upstairs if you want to milk it oh, Ooh. <laughs> what, what are, are we milking it never mind no. are we milking it <laughs> well it's up to you I you can milk whatever you want if you pay for it oh, hold on I was going to say the nipples are the prostate but um... yeah, either one well you don't have a hook yeah. Can Danny's nickname be Purple Nurple? <laughs> writing it down. <laughs> yes. People <Okay>. just tuning in. <laughs> Don't this be is a, uh, This is a normal game. Triple X only uh, <laughs> role play experience <laughs> with the nipple clamps only. Wait, what um, was Peach's like Peach's <laughs> daughter's real name? And cream. <laughs> Does peaches like? Cream. I think uh, I think peaches That's just put so much time into the business that she like she did that so that her daughter wouldn't have to. So Aww, I think uh, I think her yes, yeah, it's, it's it's actually really real. Uh, I think peaches' daughter. Um, oh, this is good. Uh, peaches. So are you? Is somebody talking to peaches? Because I need. She needs to deliver this information somehow. I, I'll be near Peaches. And, uh, okay, so she's, know, she's talking like, to... Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. Okay, so it's... Oh, Alright, that works. So Danny, which is uh, Purple Nurple. Um, <laughs> when, uh, I'm Sifle on his chains. <laughs> yep. After When Ribbone uh, didn't really pay any attention to him, before he went over to Alvara, he went over to talk to Peaches. Because she's kind of like the mom of the group. Uh, not in a good way, she's the drunk mom. But, uh, you know, Drunk Mom still has got some cool stuff going on every once in a while. So um, he walks over and he's he's talking to Peaches. And uh, um, uh, I don't know how it would come up. Maybe he asks, like, hey, have you heard from Jenny? And she says, no, no, it's been a long, it's been a long time, you know. It's, 
Uh, she doesn't really keep in touch. And then she takes a big swig uh, of a bottle of Jack. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so she's, like, she's clearly depressed. Uh, and so somebody, like, you've heard the name Jenny. So you, somebody, both of you can ask about it if you want to. Yeah, I'll ask about it. And are you going to ask uh, Peaches, or do you ask somebody else? Um, yeah, I'll just ask Peaches, since, I mean... Okay, yeah, you, you kind of walk over busy. to her, and, uh, yeah, you can, I mean, um, you know, there's, like, how would somebody be somewhere where they can be in contact with you, but not have talked to you in a town this small, you know what I mean? Right. So, you, you kind of have, like, a, a bit of a, like, suspicion, like, that's just kind of weird. So you go over and you say, uh, I think she's like not afraid of you. She's the only one that's not showing any signs of fear. Um, because like, I mean, it's not going to be the worst thing that ever happened to her. Am I right? <laughs> right. And, uh, so you kind of like wander over to her and, uh, fully torqued and <laughs> she's like, um, so you just ask her like, uh, you know, I heard you mention your daughter, Jenny, uh, you know, what's, what's going on with Jenny. And, uh, She's like, oh, you know, about uh, 20, 30 years ago, uh, you know, well, Jenny, I, I, you know, I didn't want her to be here. I didn't her, so, uh, you know, she used to work up at the, in the old factory and, uh, well, well, was, while she was in there, uh, do you know, uh, do you know Marl? Uh, I do not. I really thought you were going to say Marlboro Lights. Lights. <laughs> The Marble Man. Uh, <laughs> roll my own. Um, she goes, yeah, Marl. Uh, uh, he's one of them. Uh, he's one of them Jackson boys. And uh, you know, she kind of fell in with that crowd. And uh, when they get, when they done get run out of town, you know, she went with them. Fair enough. So you know, that's that's why I haven't heard from her. Uh, you know, it was always in, in, in the early years, right after. Right after them Jacksons got run out of town. She would still kind of, you know, she'd find places to leave me notes and stuff, but it's been a few years. All right. Um, you can tell that she kind of has a, a grudge on the Jacksons for that. Like, she's sad, but uh, you can tell that she used to be really angry, too, and she just kind of gave up on that. I, I would ask more, but it's not in my character, so... Mm -hmm. The only thing that would be in your character's thing at this moment would be like, how much does it cost to chainsaw somebody in half around here? Exactly. <laughs> and not with my chainsaw, if you know what I mean. I feel like after the first battle, my character might change. Uh, like the first like big battle after we come back and... Uh -huh. You'll get a I... chance to make a new mask. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alvara, do you, um, so you, I think you guys a couple times, uh, just kind of like pass by each other and exchange any information you got. Um, mm -hmm. so Alvara, you know about, uh, did I say Jenny? Yeah. You know about Jenny. Um, right. and you know that she went and joined the Jacksons. So, uh, you have that information if you want to use it with anyone. Like if I want to inform them. I mean, you can, uh, like, you might ask, like, and, oh, you guys also know about Marl, M-A-R-L. I didn't want to do Marl, because that's too easy. Um, so you know about Marl Jackson. So Marl and, and, Marl Jackson and Jenny are together, and that's two out of the eight Jacksons that are out in the woods. It couldn't have been, like, Forrest Jackson and Jenny? How is, how <laughs> you don't know she, what the rest of them are named. How is she relate, like, are they related? Peaches and Jenny? Yeah, Jenny's Peach's daughter. Peaches is. And yes, I do have family trees written down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say that again. Wait, Jenny is Peaches is Jenny's daughter or Jenny is Peach's daughter? Jenny is Peaches's Peaches's Peaches. Is Peaches's daughter. Okay. Peaches. Peaches. No, she doesn't have pink eyes. 
<laughs> she just looks like that. That's just that's just how these old eyes work. Uh huh. Well, these old eyes have seen a lot. Uh, Probably Peaches is missing her two front teeth, by the way. I think she'd miss, be missing all I, her teeth. I thought they were all gone, yeah. Well, I mean, that's extra. <laughs> Get a gum down. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I feel like nobody in the whole town pays attention to Peaches, but she still stays there and tries... Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, somebody gets blacked out enough. That she'll We're like... going like sick gummy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no gummy, not gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every once in a while, somebody gets blacked out enough that her like, severely discounted rate is all they got left in their pocket. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's not a. It's not a good next morning. Um. Okay, so yeah, Alvaro, what are you up to? I wasn't wasn't I still hanging out with Danny and his uh, his nip chains? Uh huh. Yeah, we were just we were just hanging out. I mean, is it hanging out? <laughs> his nipples. Those are always out. Yeah, not not anything else that I'm seeing right now. I mean, you want to you want to roll a read a person check on that? <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh huh. Sharp. Ooh. The one thing hey. I succeed at. Okay, no, oh, you know no, what? The one thing I succeed at. When you when you succeed, that means you get. Uh, when it's a partial success, you get a difficult choice. Oh God. So, uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, I have obviously what the one is going to be, but I don't know what the other more disturbing thing is. Um, Ruby comes back. <laughs> okay, you have to choose between. Um, so basically, you. Uh, You've been like torquing those nips for a while, and uh, he's like at full puff at this point. <laughs> so, <laughs> either you can see that the assless chaps are about to get ripped out in the open, oh, or Jesus. Uh, he's going to start lactating. <laughs> Which one's worse? Um, I, the worst one is probably him starting to lactate. <laughs> I mean. Turns out you can milk them. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll go with the, the lesser of the two evils. All right, so he's got assless chaps, but they're also standing like half an inch off his body. Because <laughs> he's fully pitched the tent. <laughs> and he's oh. like, you want to take this upstairs for a discount? Oh, my God. I, I'm good. <laughs> All right, so at that, you're not allowed no, to play with his nips anymore. He's uh, He's annoyed. <laughs> It was a fun time while it lasted. <laughs> I think he pops those clamps off. Because uh, those bad boys are about to start bleeding, you know? Without using his hands. Uh-huh. He just... <laughs> 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 so he, he uh, kind of wanders off. destroys the glass that's holding Peaches' <laughs> <his> teeth. <laughs> he's, he's annoyed and he, he wanders off. And, um, he doesn't get a lot of action in this town. So he's kind of like angrily sits on the couch. Uh, <laughs> this is me. Like I would not be working in the plant. You know what I mean? <laughs> Any other job's great. Um, so, okay. So is there any way to find out um, at, the, at like right now what Chad is up to? Yeah. Um, somebody want to ask. Uh, so yeah, somebody asked Clarice if, if she knows if Chad's there. I'll go ahead and I'll ask her because she's kind of my person. Right. So yeah, you don't have to try to like uh, roll or anything to get since since she's since you do have a history, she's just like, um, you know, normally I, I try to like keep it on the down low for my clients, but you know, I I like you guys, so I'll help you out. Uh, yeah. So Chad was here, uh, right after I got the alcohol, and he was actually like, he he said that he was here to inspect the alcohol to make sure that it wasn't tainted. Um. But yeah, other than that, uh, he he does stop by from time to time, but he hasn't been here to actually use. It. All right. All 
I mean, is there, like, if he, like, physically he's not here, though. Right. Okay. Is there any way to find out where he is at? Well, he's probably at his house. I think you guys have been here for about an hour. So it's definitely after dark at this point. Um, and like I said, his he is up. Uh, he lives on the second floor. Um, kind of like separate freestanding. Uh, well, not freestanding, but they have their their own separate entrance. There's like a staircase that goes up and then there's like a little front porch. And then the, there's a couple housing units that several of the uh, people that work in town hall. Um, I think the council is uh, so there's average Joe that is. I think Chad is kind of like the number two. And then um, we're going to have. Um, uh, what was what's a male? OK, we're going to have uh, Brock. Brock um, or Barack? Brock. Brock. OK. Pokemon Brock. Pokemon Brock. Uh, so he he is um, if you guys remember was the woman that uh, scab trailed um, that went to talk to the infected lady. Um, that's Barbara's husband. And he is, he kind of is the head of the, the old factory. And he kind of speaks for, um, like Chad speaks for the money-making operations. And this guy speaks for the workers, sort of. And that's Brock. So he's the third councilman, and him and his wife actually live in the larger other unit that is above the guardhouse. And then uh, Average Joe actually has part of Town Hall is um, living quarters. So who's all councilmen? Uh, Average Joe, Brock, and Chad. And Chad. And uh, Chad is, he's hes like a uh, sort of a cousin to the uh, Jackson family. I was adding that into my notes. <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys going to, do you think you're going to head out and go see if you can peep in Chad's windows or something? Uh, yeah, I was gonna, like, I feel like this is gonna highlight the cool option. Um, mm -hmm. and that's not, and I couldn't talk my way out of this. Okay. So, I, it's probably not a good spot for dopey old me to be running around in, but mm -hmm. I could keep a lookout. Uh, outside of, uh, the guardhouse? Okay, and Alvaro's going to head in? Yeah, or, or, uh, if, if, she, if she thinks that she has the stats to do so. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm I think... Uh, trying to decide. Yeah. yeah, I think that would all be cool. Because you're not under fire, but you're potentially under fire, you know what I mean? Yeah, if then you, I'd be good If you that. get caught, you're under fire. So, um, yeah, I think, I think you could uh, kind of handle, like, stealthing it out and just seeing what's up. Um, yeah. Okay, so you guys, you guys both leave. I think, uh, I think Macbeth and Scab get back at this point. Okay. Uh, by the time you guys leave, so you guys probably um, get the ruler out here. You guys kind of head out of the red house and kind of come up and meet back over here. Okay. Um, and you kind of like share the plan or uh, you know, figure out what you guys are going to do, and uh, our. Yeah, I guess this is your guys' chance to kind of formulate if you want to. Uh, we'll just say that we kind of, in, you know, interpret our plan of, like, mm -hmm. what we have so far of her going in, me standing watch, um, just to see what you guys think, you know, if you want to join, if you have other plans. Mm -hmm. so and, I of course, kind of share the information about um, that, that we kind of find out over 
about the stuff like about Chad and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, I just got back. Um, my character doesn't know what you guys are doing. So you're going to spy on somebody? Or just I basically think? to go like stealth around, take a look around Chad's uh, um, like house oh, to see if there's anything yeah. like incriminating or uh, like maybe even deeper information about the Jackson location or hierarchy or you know pretty much anything. Mm. I want to go with Alara. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll uh, stick with uh, you, Ribbone, in right. case you need help with something and getting a scrap. That's all right with everyone. Yeah, and yeah, so you guys are outside. Um, so yeah, you guys, you guys kind of, um, you know, head back down here, head over to I think the back of the guardhouse here. Um, so the uh, from the guardhouse windows, you can see in. And uh, I think there's only um, there's just one of the one of the guards in there. Um, let's see who is this going to be. So uh, Robbie's over at the uh, red house getting hooks. <laughs> um, Phil is out in the woods. So I think there's only two other guards, um, and one of them has the night off, or possibly was at the uh, red house and you just didn't recognize him. Um, so who's who's this other guard going to be? Um, Joey one eyed. One eyed. Joey. Okay, so Is does he only have one eye? Is it like Cotton? Oh. Four? No. <laughs> I mean, we could call him Cotton. I think it was like Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does he does, does Cotton Eye Joe actually play? only have or do they just call him that? Oh he only, well this guy should only have one eye. He's kinda like the third in line of the guards or whatever, like the last guy on the totem pole. It's just like he's not real good. Uh because he can't see too well and he but he takes orders. Uh, but he's better than that. Perception's way, way off, yeah. so like he misses a lot. <laughs> He goes, he goes to, like, grab people to arrest him, and he just falls down because he grabbed at nothing. I was thinking whenever he takes a piss, he, like, pees all over the seat. <laughs> and his legs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, he's, um... So, I have written down One-Eyed Joey, the shitty guard. Um, there's always one, you know? Uh, so, yeah, so he, um... He's just kind of, like, sitting in the room, and he's, like... I think, I think he's, he's uh, throwing, throwing something, something up and down, down and just like kind of playing around, <laughs> and uh, he keeps missing it. So what does he have? He has like an old ball, like an old baseball, and he keeps like throwing it up. A dagger. And he like, goes to catch it, and it like hits the table. <laughs> that's how he lost his other eye. He's on the edge. <laughs> yeah, he used to throw daggers. That's, that's a bad call. That's funny. Uh, which eye is it? That he has. Um, hold on. Let me. Let me he see has here. a left eye. Old left eye. So it hit the left eye, or he has the left eye? He has he the has left, left eye. eye. Um, okay, so uh, Cotton Eye Joe is just sitting playing around in the uh, guard room. Like, clearly nothing really going on. Um, so he, I, I think just based on who this is, he's probably not going to notice anything suspicious going on. Um, so yeah, you, uh, uh, Alvara and Scab both are able to sneak up the stairs without making any noise. They're not like creaky or in plain sight or anything it's it's uh the staircase is on kind of the back of the building so um you know it's it's kind of stealthy by default and uh go ahead and both roll uh both of you roll cool yes there you go uh, and there you don't go oh okay um right, right, right. so i think alvaro goes up first um, just kind of like staying low, like looking around, moving kind of quietly. And, uh, when you get to the, um, Chad's, Chad's, is, Chad's in the first unit. So when you get up there, you kind of like lean your head up and look in, uh, his window. And he actually has glass on this window and, um, it's pretty old and beat up, but, uh, you know, it's, there's not a lot of glass windows left in this place, so it's not bad. Um, 
in the so you kind of like look through and you see um there's uh, a couple lanterns lit and uh you kind of see shapes like moving around kind of hurriedly and there's more than one chad's uh not married and he, you know he doesn't have anybody that lives with him that you guys know um so there's like at least two people uh moving around in this unit and uh you know the door seems um it doesn't seem to be unlocked or opened or anything. It seems like it's secure, so it's probably not a robbery in progress. Um, Did and then Danny scab... sneak up there? What was that? Did Danny sneak up there? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell. Uh, he's ready to go, you know that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I think as Scab is kind of creeping up the stairs, um, maybe when Scab gets to the oh yeah I, I have a good idea as you're looking through scab just like kind of walks by and like tries the door yeah. so you just like hear the door like rattle and it's locked it's it's just a slide lock on the other side so it's pretty loud it's like some pretty heavy uh you know wood on wood movement mm. <laughs> so danny what's <Wester. laughs> and uh the the movement of the shadow stops and uh it's just like everything quiets Tense moment. Uh, both of you roll cool again to see if you uh, keep your cool. Damn. Okay. So here's the tough choice. Uh, scab. Uh, Alvara stays cool. Stays low under the window. Not looking in. Uh, not keeping, you know, keeping her head out of view and everything. Uh, scab has a chance to bolt. And Scab can hide. If Scab hides, Alvaro is going to get caught. If Ugh. or Scab can, because I mean, you know, Scab can see through the window these shapes approaching. You could give Alvaro the chance to sneak out, or stay at least stay undetected. Give Alvaro the chance to sneak. Okay, and Alvaro, it's up to you. If you, um, you could. Just get out of there, or you could get ready to uh, sucker somebody when they come out. Yeah, no, 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 I'll get ready to sucker somebody if they come out. Okay, um, so hold one on that. So um, just keep in mind that you have an extra plus one you can put on something. Um, that'll be the next time you roll, you can just, in, instead of having the field be zero, uh, go ahead and mm -hmm. put it up to one when you roll it, and it should add it. I think it's it'll work like that. Um, okay. And also, uh, Scab, you do have a chance to change shape if you want to. I know. Um, so you're still like the children of the corn girl right now? Yeah. Can I change into unassuming white man? Um, I was, well, these, uh, at least if Chad is in here, Chad knows everybody in town. Uh oh. So... Um, you can you can uh, pretty much look similar to anybody that you've seen. You can't get exact, but you can get pretty mm -hmm. close. Um, so I think maybe with this, the girl's form that you take now was maybe somebody that you saw in your past when you were like a weird fetus monster. Yes. Um, or, you know, when you were younger. So that's a form you like to take because it's similar to your own actual <laughs> body mass and everything. Mm -hmm. Um so if you're going to become a guy, so you guys have, um, well, you specifically, you've seen less people in town than some of the others have. That's true. Um, you could do something creepy. Like you could try to go for like a, a large guy, but his, he's not going to look right. You know what I mean? Because you're just guessing. Could you turn into Phil? Um, you could Probably. definitely turn into Phil. Oh my god. I turn into Phil. Okay. Um, so yeah, you uh right before and like right as the door opens, you're like getting and uh Alvara like is very horrified. <laughs> um that basically you like uh it's it's not like a uh, transformation process like in uh like Wolfman or anything. Like you're not like changing into this guy, you just like you just like are taller. And then you like buff out wider, and then like your clothes change. 
It's, it's very quick. Okay. Um, and there's no sound. It's like there's like a little whisper of wind. And that's it, pretty much it. So it's like really disturbing. And um, so, yeah, you uh, roll weird. And as long as you don't fail, you'll get it perfect. If you do fail, then they're going to think something weird. Is, there's going to be some weird identifier. Nailed it. Yeah. Um, give yourself experience for that, of course. I think Alvaro, didn't you have cool highlighted? No, I don't. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, uh, yeah, you're able to um, take Phil's shape. Uh, you know, that you're, it's, it's probably not perfect. If you saw the real Phil standing next to you, there'd be differences. But it's good enough that... Uh, it's the people dark have... and at night. Right, right. So um, the door opens and you recognize Chad. And uh, there's somebody else. Uh, there's another man in the room with him that you don't recognize. Okay. Um, they both look really surprised to see you. And uh, mm -hmm. Chad says, um, and Alvaro, you can't see either one of them. You just know that you know that Chad's there because he actually says something. Right. And uh, I think you guys know his voice. I don't know how you would know that, but I don't know. You've you've been in town. You've heard him talk he? because he's he, he sounds like a douche. You can tell it's him. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he, so you, uh, Chad says, uh, he goes, Phil, Phil, what are you doing here? And, uh, I would say that Scab probably should, um, maybe read, uh, read person of that okay. second guy. So roll shark. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Um, okay. So you... The second guy starts moving forward, and you have enough time to look at him. And he's a he's a little taller than Chad, and he's a like more muscular, stronger. Um, he's got kind of like leather. Uh, he's got like really thick pants that have like padding. He's got a leather jacket on. <gasps> it's a Jackson. And uh, as he walks up to you, and uh, Alvara, you see this, and you'll have a you'll have a chance to intervene, but. Uh, he pulls his fist back, uh, kind of to like head level, and then starts moving it forward toward uh, Scab. And you can see his uh, one of his eyes is pink. Um. um so Alvaro, he walked can, up with his uh, fist pulled back. Well, he's he's swinging. Can I? Oh, okay. So you can try to hit that arm. Because it's coming out of the door. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, that so you're be... pouncing. Um, so that's going to be... Um, let me look at your sheet here. That's hard, isn't it? Go aggro. Uh, yeah, you're going aggro. But I add a one to it, right? Yeah, go ahead and whenever it gives you that roll, it should ask like health or whatever. One. Yeah, so you'll put one extra in that. Okay, ready? <gasps> uh oh. Oh. Oh, man. It's a minus one. I forgot. Um, okay, so I think you swing out and grab his arm. Um, so you prevent him from hitting Scab, but, uh, not, like, you're not able to hurt him or you're not able to stop him. Like, you just deflected that attack, basically. Okay. Um, so you guys, uh, you know, Chad's just like, what the? And then you guys have a chance you could call for your backup if you want to. What, for them to come up and it, help us? Yeah. From from down there, I feel like it sounds like stuff's already can, getting kind of weird. You can tell something's up, yeah. So, um, I I was thinking maybe Macbeth should go, mm -hmm. and I should start some sort of, like, distraction slash bar fight. Oh my god. Uh, like, outside of the little, uh, outside of the whorehouse. Uh -huh. And then try to slip away from it. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of like just piss off a random local and be like, he was the one who said it, you know, that kind of thing. And okay, then, so you, you know, know those uh, guys think... start going at it and, you know, it causes a distraction. So it's going to keep that guard that's crazy eyed, you know. Right, right. You know, their so you, attention um, is going to, you know. Yeah. Ribbone, uh, kind of like, kind of like pushes like Macbeth's back and like gestures up the stairs. Like you go, I, I got something to do. And uh, Ribbone, like, kind of sprints off. Um, so, Macbeth, you are uh, 
mounting the stairs, I guess. Um, you kind of see the fist come out of the door frame, and then Alvara grab the and you hear Chad yell. And uh, what do you do? Uh, make a grand entrance. Okay. Uh, um... uh, is that one of your class moves? No, it's not. Okay. Um, you do have so that. No, nobody's been punched yet, right? Uh, there's going to be some punching. I can tell you that. Yeah, nobody's taken any hits yet. Hmm. Yeah, the but we don't want to kill, right? Because well, we need info. Yeah. Cat's out of the bag, so there's no use hiding. I'll just come up and show myself to everybody there. Okay. Um. So now, I think, like, at this point, the two guys, uh, they know they're outnumbered. Um. But you don't, uh, you don't, like, draw a weapon or anything? You're just, like... Well, they don't know that the Cotton Eye Joe's gone, do they? Uh, not yet. Um, uh, yeah, so do you guys see um, the guy that swung the arm? He now, like, pushes all the way onto the little, like, sort of porch patio area out front of uh, the little apartment. And, um, yeah, he's a big... Angry looking dude. He's got the one red eye. Uh, you're pretty confident that this is Mo Jackson. And um, he's like, he he seems really surprised. And he, he looks at Phil and he goes, I always hated you, you piece of shit. What does Scab say? Um, chill out, man. Chill out, man. <laughs> because that's something I feel like I'd say. <laughs> Not so much how I feel. Um. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, Mo. Um, like you probably shouldn't know who Mo is, and he. Uh. I think he's gonna try to shove Scab back. Um, so roll, um, roll hard. Or can I do, can this take a sudden turn and I can use my ferocious snarling, possibly rabid? Like, um, let me look move. at that. Dead. Um, well, if you do that, you're going to, like, uh, I think you're going to, like, kind of transform into, like, your, if you're not putting your full effort into, since this isn't your preferred form and you're trying to copy, um, if you do that, you're going to kind of, like, break down your illusion a little bit. That's fine. Um, okay, yeah, you can do that then. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and roll weird. So you're like he's coming towards you. He was gonna try to shove you back, and you're um, basically taking the fight to him instead. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so that succeeds. So um, you kind of come up and just like smack him across the head. So uh, he takes um, a, a wound from that. I'm drawing out the pie chart for him. So he takes a wound from that. And um, he, like, stumbles back. And when you do that, like, uh, Phil's, like, lips kind of vanish. So it's just, like, like kind of, like, fleshy mouth. And uh, the nose is gone. So it's nostrils. And uh, he doesn't have any, like, facial hair anymore. So, like, the whole head's starting to break down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I think his hands are a little bit smaller, too. Uh, like, a little, like, more claw-like. Um, less meat on his bones, and Phil's got a little bit extra meat, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so yeah, at that, like, so Mo backs up, and he's just, he's like, what the hell? And, uh, yeah, Alvara, you have a chance to do something, and, uh, Macbeth, well, he'll, he'll do something after Alvara, and then Macbeth's turn, so, um, go ahead. So, just, 
I mean, I still don't know where I had his because I had caught his arm. Right? Well, I mean, you had like shoved his arm out of the way, basically. Like you had disabled him, and he pulled his arm back pretty quick. Uh, you disabled that attack, I should say. Um, okay. So, um, you you do have that uh, that like what is it like a chain wrapped around like a spiked chain wrapped around your hand or something? I do. Um, yeah. Do you do you gear up with that, or do you just want to punch him? Uh, I feel like that's a little that's a little extreme right now. I just want to go ahead and try to punch him. Okay, so go ahead and roll hard again. Okay. Uh, let me look at your move set here. I don't think um, either my moves really. Okay, go ahead and roll. I mean, this is a charge situation at this point, so roll, Can... um, roll hot, and we'll see what kind of bonus you get. Okay. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Sorry, sorry. That's fine. One. Really? Still not great. <laughs> okay, so yeah, nothing there. So go ahead and roll uh, to punch the dude. Again through hot? Uh, just hard. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, so that does... Uh, I think um, he doesn't like stagger back again, so he's um, kind of still in the situation, but you did wound him again. So he's already like um he's basically just like shocked like um he just was not ready for this to go this way pretty much um i think he uh he starts like fumbling around at his waist for something um and this is uh that brings us to uh Macbeth's turn um chad kind of like sprints into the room away and uh He's, uh, you don't really know what he's doing. He just kind of like sprints off. He sprints out of the room? No, back into, he, he sprints deeper into his apartment. Uh, and what's the other guy doing? He's reaching for something. You can't really tell what he's doing. Is, and the other guy's closer to us and he's reaching for something you said? Right. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much blocking the doorway. You could get around him, but you couldn't do anything else. Um... You'd have to like you could use your whole turn to just like squeeze around him into the into the uh room, but he's probably yeah. the bigger threat here. I I wanna actually we have all of our gear that we set our characters up with already. Mm hmm I wanna take out my Magnum. Okay. I'm not gonna fire it, but I wanna hold it towards him so we can tell him to stop whatever he's doing. Okay. Um yeah, I'm just looking at your character sheet. Okay. So, um, he, you see his hand freeze, and uh, a door slams inside the apartment, and uh, probably, I don't know, Chad's just barricading himself, I guess. Do we need to roll for that, what I just did? Uh, no, I think he, he gets that. Like, he okay. knows that he's in, a, he's in a fight here. So, um, I think he's uh, smart enough to not mess around with that too much. Um, so yeah, he just kind of like, he freezes up, he's waiting. Uh, I think you're like, you kind of like give him that, like you, you kind of wiggle your hand a little bit. It's like, okay, go ahead and get that hand away. From you. And he lifts both of his hands up in the air and, uh, he just looks, he's absolutely pissed. And, uh, Chad comes out, um, like pokes his head out of the room and then slams the door again. I think at this point, um, you guys kind of hear some footsteps, and Alvara, you turn really quickly, look down the stairs, because you know that um, Macbeth needs to keep his eye on this guy. And uh, so you're you're checking to see what's going on downstairs, and mm -hmm. uh, you guys see Ribbone running up, and he's breathing kind of heavily, and he smells like gasoline. Yeah. Oh. Um. Yep. Okay. So, so what are you guys doing here? Ribbone, can you do me a favor? Please, can you pat him down? See what he has that he's reaching for. Might be a weapon. Yeah, uh, and uh, I, I do that pretty aggressively. Jesus, go ahead and roll uh, reading a person for that. Oh, son of a bitch! That's the only <laughs> thing I've rolled, and that's the only thing I have a negative on. Mm-hmm. Shit. Oh, it's better than what I thought would happen. Um, okay, so you, you grab a switchblade that he had in his pocket. 
knife to a gunfight. Well, yeah, switchblade in his pocket. And he was happy to see me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, let me. I'm. I'm just getting the stats on that. If anybody wants it. Um, okay. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. If somebody wants that, um, that is gonna be. Uh. Uh, who it's, it's going to be two harm, uh, hand weapon. Who wants it? I don't need it. You guys can have it if you want. Scab, are you interested? Um, I'll take it. Okay, so go ahead and uh, open up your. Um, let's look at your. Mainly because I'm like I'm not sure what you have. Weapon wise, yeah, yeah, I have a spear and a throne stone, but I'm not sure what they are in harm. Uh huh. I don't have that in my gear and barter. Um, let me look at that. So, this gives you the ability to, like, if it's stiletto style, uh -huh. be a real deck. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah so it's gonna be, um, with, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead and, and, and in your gear, go ahead and type down, down um, switchblade. switchblade. And that's going to be two harm. Okay. Intimate, which means um, you can only use that when you're like close enough to physically, like closer than arm's reach. It's very close quarters. Okay. And um, I'm just looking at uh, some of the other stats I can add to it. Um, that's probably it. Yeah. Okay, so you, you have that to use in the future. I'll get your for uh, the stone and spear. Okay. They're probably this pretty much the same. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um okay, so um yeah, you get the the switchblade from him and then uh you just I'm assuming that you guys are gonna push him into the room and close the door. Did I find any barter tokens? I'm just saying I'm down to one. Um yeah, you do get you do get enough off of him that's essentially one barter. So go ahead and add that. I think uh I think you get three total. So you take one and then whoever else needs it can take one. Probably everybody except for uh Scab, because Scab doesn't really need money. Yeah. Yeah, so everybody gets one extra except for Scab. Okay. That's fine. I don't need any anyway. I just scavenge You eat rocks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you eat rocks and now you have a switchblade which yeah in respect, well the switchblade also is worth the, best idea. Uh, the switchblade would be worth one barter if you wanted to sell it by yeah. the way um so yeah that works out uh okay so you push him in and somebody closes the door um i think that's another good time yeah. to call it yeah another uh, yet again you guys have abducted some <laughs> and this day's still not over yeah still the first day Oh my god. We've had a good day. It's been a good day. Yeah. We yeah. learned a lot. Peaches and cream. Mm. <laughs> yeah. The cream's extra. It <laughs> always rises to the top. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, okay, so um and, and yeah, I, well, didn't I, I didn't get to roll I didn't get to roll anything except sharp twice. And that's, that's what fine. I have negative on. Yeah. That bumps me um, out. I think it's yeah, I think uh, uh, we'll open up the next session the same way we did this one. With we'll now that we're in this new situation, everybody will uh, choose new highlights, and uh, we'll update history from there next time. All right, sounds good. All right, so of course, uh, anybody out there, um, you can follow Digital Dungeons at Digital Dungeon One on Twitter. Uh, search Digital Dungeons on Facebook to find the Facebook page. Uh, we're being hosted by Mammoth Games Inc. at Mammoth Games Inc. on Twitter, Mammoth Games Inc. on Facebook, Mammoth Games Inc. at gmail.com for emails. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, uh, just give us a shout out on one of those if uh, 
you know, what you like, what you dislike, what you like to see mm-hmm. change since this was a developing world. Um, but yeah, until next time, um, have a good one.